So I wanted to make a short video about how to use the leather dye, uh, both either in a rub-on or using a pre to spray on. Uh, what you see in front of you is a 2009 VW Tiguan with a sandstone beige interior. And it's got a little bit of uh, dye transfer. And this is a good time to talk about problems with dye transfer with uh, car interiors as well. A little bit of a blue jean got right here. If you don't get that out pretty quickly within a week or two, it's going to end up becoming part of the interior. So at that point, the only thing you can do is to clean the area as best you can and then apply some new dye, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in this short video. And so as far as cleaning goes, um, a little bit of simple green to start with, just to make sure that the, the area is perfectly clean before you uh, apply any any dye to it is essential and then you can go back through with a little bit of denatured alcohol I've got some in this guy I don't know if I'm violating copyright by showing some denatured alcohol I just threw it on a rag first and I'm gonna just wipe down this area with the rag you can see how potent it is it'll actually pull up some of that dye already so something to be really careful about. Because it does want to pull up dye. If you've got a little bit of gunk in the in the grain of the interior as well, you can go ahead and grab some more of this denatured alcohol and take a Scotch Bright non-abrasive pad. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. You'll notice it's cleaning some of the interior, which is good, getting some of the gunk out of the grain of this seat, still not going to pull that dye transfer out. Maybe a little bit, but still are going to see a lot of that dye transfer left, unfortunately. And that's why we've got to demonstrate applying some dye. So we're going to wipe all this down, make sure there's nothing that, uh, other than actual leather seat, the dye to stick to. If you touch it, you'll notice it's a little bit tacky, but also still a little bit damp. So you can do one of two things. You can wait for it to air dry, or take a hair dryer and just with a little bit of low heat, just go over it for a minute. So now if I touch it, it's dry, a little bit warm. Still got a little bit of that tackiness, which is good because that's actually prepped leather, ready to take some dye. And so I already filled this pre with the sandstone beige, just right in the bottom. This is about four ounces worth. It's a six ounce jar, so I just threw the whole jar in there. I already primed the pre as well, which you can do too. I recommend getting a good feel for the spray pattern by just spraying it a couple times. There we go. Just spraying it a couple times so you get a feel for not only where it starts to spray but also the spray pattern. And then now that you've got it primed, just go ahead and give it a spray. There we go. Still getting some of the, still getting some of this uh, aerosol out. There we go. Kick this seat back a little bit, so I've got a better angle of attack. And what our goal here is, is just light, even coats. There we go. A little bit heavier than I wanted to, but let's go ahead and give it a quick dry and see how it looks.
Now, if you're worried about overspray, you can, of course, can tape off the areas that you're worried about spraying. I'm not super concerned about this vehicle. Just gonna do a couple more light coats here. There we go. I'm gonna dry this out. Your mileage may vary with the preval. If you may want to try rubbing it on or wiping it on first, there's nothing wrong with that. Here's coat number three. Dye transfer is gone. Now, if you don't want to use a hair dryer, you can definitely wait about 20 to 30 minutes between coats. You're going to get a fine dry time there. Now, this is dry right now, completely dry to the touch at the moment. However, this doesn't fully, fully cure for about two days, two to three days, depending on how warm it is outside, just depending on general weather conditions. And so I wouldn't apply any chemicals to this. I'd try to avoid even getting any water on the uh, the fixed area for at least a couple of days for it to fully cure. And then after that, this is basically part of the leather. So I hope this has been informative, especially with regards to using the, the pre-val spray gun on seats like this and of course if you have any questions you can leave comments down in the on the comments section shoot me an email shoot me a text i'm always happy to answer questions for people who are wanting to improve the look of their interior